Okay, y'all, braid with me. Let's braid together and talk about my braiding service and just like kind of what I offer and why I do what I do the way I do it. Um, might share some helpful tips or something. You know, I'm like a few years into this now, so I feel like I'm more of expert level. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Expert level at this point. Um, but also, excuse my background because it's kind of loud. But yeah, so this is not list. And I want to hear before I tell y'all what size do y'all think this is? Like, according to you and your book, okay, in your frame of reference, what size are these braids? And then I see in the comments people be like, well, the parts are this size, but the braids are this size. I feel like I have a good balance. Like, if my parts are medium, nine times out of ten, my braids gonna be medium unless the client has extremely thick hair or extremely thin hair. Because obviously, with not list, that's gonna affect the size of the braid. But yeah, so for me now in this day and age, these are medium. These used to be small for me, but I decided to redo my size and am I really redo my name in the the amount of braids you get for the price are the same, but I just changed the name. So like what I used to call medium is now large and what I used to call small is now medium. And so now my small is like extra small, but the medium used to be um, 170. So now the large is 170, but it's the same amount of braids. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and if it don't, I can explain it further in another video. But here I am parting off my next section. Another thing I do differently now is I go ahead and pre-part basically the whole head before I start braiding because... It makes, I'm so sorry about my background, y'all. But my kids are so loud. But um, <laughs> it makes the whole process just kind of less stressful because I'm not worried about is this going to end up being even when I get to the top or am I making these rows the right size so that when I get to the top, it's the right amount of braids. Like, it just cuts out all of that added anxiety. So, yeah, she ended up with four... Is it four and a half rows or five and a half rows? I can't really tell right now. But, um, yeah, four and a half rows. So that's like between medium and small because my medium is four row. No, that's large. Medium is five rows. Yeah, that's in between medium and large. Medium is four rows. Medium is five rows. I'm sorry. Large is four rows. So, <clears throat> yeah, um, just continuing on my process. Another thing that I like to do is leave. So, like, as you can see right here, I'm pre-parting, but I'm only doing it a row at a time. Whereas now I pre-part and I pre-part the whole head, basically, or I'll do one whole side and then pre-part the other whole side, braid one whole side and then braid the other whole side. And honestly, it also uh, cuts down on my time because I'm not, I'm, I'm more sure about my partner and what I'm doing so I can move a little bit faster. Um, so yeah, that's definitely a pro tip if you're trying to, I am so sorry about my background. If you're trying to <laughs> get faster, cut down on your time, um, or just feel more confident while braiding, I really recommend pre-parting. So the next section, I'm going to be just braiding down the ends and that's pretty much my process, like, I do all my parting, do all my braiding, you know, like putting the braids into the scalp and then I go and I just braid down. So I'm like constantly doing the same thing. I'm not going from parting to braiding to doing the ends to parting to adding hair to doing the ends. Like I'm doing all parting, then I'm doing all adding hair in, and then I'm doing all um, braiding down. So it's kind of, I think it helps me to move faster because it's thoughtless because I'm just kind of doing the same thing over and over instead of going back from one. I am so sorry about my background, <laughs> but I'm not going from one skill to another skill to another skill. So, yeah, 
Now, this is something else that I adopted. Hold on, y'all. Let me close my door. These kids ain't got nothing. So, what I'm about to show y'all is my technique for sealing the ants, you know, with boiling water. Um, I like to pour the hot water on the braids instead of dipping them into the kettle. Um, because I use my kettle for different things, I just like to keep stuff from inside of it. I don't put anything inside the kettle. So, the way around that is to pour it on the braids. I also like this technique because I can get the water higher up on the braids and I don't have to worry about the ends tangling. You know, you dip it and it can kind of like mush together and get all raggedy. And then you sit in there for like five minutes trying to swirl them around in a bowl and stuff. Or in a, a tub, whatever you use. Trying to get the ends back normal. You know, we just skip all that. We skip all that. We pour the water on the hair. Um, we use something to hold it up and it's nice and safe. Another thing that I did that you probably saw was I grabbed the bin of my contaminate, not contaminated tools. Is that what it's called? Contaminated tools? I think so. Um, it's been a long time since I was in hair school. <laughs> I put I put that under to catch the water and while it's catching the water it's also getting those like heavy jam products that I use for braids and edge controls and all softened up and off of the combs to make it easier to get them ready for the astringent solution. So it's like killing 50 birds with one stone, y'all. Like this technique is really a problem solver, okay? And so I love that about it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. After that, I do mousse. I blow dry. I just blow a little bit of the water out the ends. Nothing crazy, but just so they're not like soaking, soaking wet. And I also um, just blow dry the mousse on their hair. I don't like wrap them up and put them under the dryer or anything like that. I don't really find that to be necessary. But yeah, that's pretty much my process. Obviously, before I started braiding her, I washed her hair, blow dried it, got her all um, prepped for her style. And that is it. That is how I do my medium knot list. This is what they look like, final results. Get into it, get into it. And yeah, I love braiding. I love doing hair. Um, I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, make sure you like it make sure you comment and let me know if i gave you some new tips or if you do any of these things already but yes thank y'all so much for watching and i hope i'll see y'all in the next one bye